Evening all, Rich here, back for part 7 and the final part of this SS Rotterdam tutorial. Thank God. Um, today and we're just going to sort out all the last details, like the lifeboats, uh, the stern uh, details like the cranes, swimming pool, rudder, propellers and all the other guff like that. So we're going to focus on the stern first, so we're going to go right to the back end of the ship and sort out the rudder, propellers and a few other bits as well. So I'll just hurry up and get all the way down to the back end. La 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 la, dee 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 dee. And what we're going to do, we'll start with the rudder first. And we're going to add some hinges first. So we're going to go right down to the back end of the ship, right down the bottom. And to this straight edge down here on the red. So we're going to get our hinges, which are cobblestone wall. And plonk them in there. And for the hinges, we're going to add uh, six hinges. So go from the bottom and add six hinges up. So that's one, leave a space, two, leave a space, three, leave a space, four, leave a space, five, leave a space, six. So six hinges like that, and then for the rudder, um, yeah, the rudder itself from the bottom, you're going to build eleven back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then eleven up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then forward three. One, two, three, and then uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Attaching to the top hinge, and then down to the bottom. Attaching all the hinges like so, and you can't see it very well because it's dark. But uh, there's the rudder in place. You can see it's basically a square with a little nub on the top there, and then just fill it all in now with red, and everything should all be fine. So oh, I think I'll just use welded it for this. Just fill it all in with red, and we'll do set two five one fourteen, and there we go. There's our rudder filled in. And it looks brilliant and beautiful like that. So there we are, that's job done. So for the next job, we're going to add the propellers. And I'm going to get some night vision shit, wherever it is. Uh, th get three minutes of that. And then uh, be able to see what we're doing. I should have done that first, but never mind. There we go, got a bit of uh, light now. Now for the rudder, um, the propellers, sorry. We're going to go back to the end of the keel. Down here by that hinge. Bottom hinge. And we're going to go up seven. So up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then back seven, so this is the first block, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually make it eight, eight back. And then we're going to build, uh, with white or any other colour, you're going to build out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the end block, we can make that red actually, so that, that seventh block is red. And then remove the rest of the blocks there, don't need them no more. So this is where our propeller is. And it's the same on both sides, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to use uh, sandstone and sandstone stairs for this. So our sandstone stairs, wherever they are there. And just threw that away. And what we're going to do, on the back end of that red block, we're going to put a sandstone block, like so. And then on the top side, bottom and the other side, we're going to add the propeller blade. So we're going to build up two, no, up three, sorry. One, two, three. And then three again. One, two, three. And then one, like that. So there's... The beginning of your blade so it's up three up three one like that and then for the side it's out three one two three 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 and one like that and then down three one two three three again one two three and one like that and then out three one two three three again one two three and one like that so there's our propeller blade looking something like that and then with the stairs we should just add stairs in certain places to create the curve propeller blade. So you had three, one, two, three, four stair blocks to create a sort of decent looking propeller blade. Now do the same with all the other blades. Round like this. And then the other ones. Like so. And then the last one. Like so. And there we go. There's our propeller all done. And it should look something like that. That's the theory at least. And it don't look too bad. Now for the propeller shaft, we go behind the propeller now, facing well towards the front of the ship. And from the centre of the propeller, just add red line, a red line going all the way forward till it blends in with the rest of the ship. Like so. So that's the propeller shaft. And then for the fin that attaches to the rest of the ship, go back to the propeller and go one forward, or two forward, sorry. Like so. And then build up two. One, two. Two again. One, two. Two again. One, two. And then in three. Uh, two, sorry, one, two, like that. And that's your propeller shaft fin. And then from each block of that fin, you just build 
forward till it blends in with the rest of the ship just as the night vision runs out and there you go that's one line the next line this is really dark under it and then the next two lines like so and you can't see it very well but uh, there's a propeller there somewhere well the propellers there and the, the red uh, fin is there as well I'm surprised how dark it is under here it's not normally uh, this an, an, uh, an issue uh, when building a ship but uh, if we get our, well, our uh, stuff again it's down here somewhere I think I threw it is it down here? no it doesn't matter I'll get the uh, night vision again where is it that one no, I don't want 8 minutes I want just 3 minutes La 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 la, dee 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 dee. Alright, there we go. So there's our, there's our propeller shaft all in place. And it should look something like that. So what you want to do now, just do the same on the other side. Remember, it's it's symmetrical, so don't have to worry too much about it being uneven. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly copy it to the other side just to get it out of the way. Copy it down to the other side, down there. And we shall use uh, copy flip to the right and then we paste and there we go that's propellers on both sides and it should look something like that marvellous the ship now has maneuverability and propulsion brilliant and uh, that is that job done for the stern well the propellers at least there's still more shit to go on oh, sorry detail to go on the ship uh, on the stern but we'll worry about that a bit later on so what we're going to do now is to move to the boat deck which is uh, if we go to the stern, this is the top deck of the stern, and then we're going to go to the next deck up, which is over here. So you've got the uh, overhanging windows on the side there. So this is the next deck up here. This should be the boat deck. And if you look on the side, you've got the side walls here, and we're going to go to the third third section of the wall in. So the, on the on the side here, it's the side walls there, and it curves in. So we're going to go to the third wall, uh, curving back. So on the back end here, we've got the end here, and then we're going to go to the third bit, third end. So this is the first wall second wall third wall which is this one here which is basically two blocks and then from there along the bottom we're going to add 12 blocks back so one two three blocks forward three blocks in and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve like that and then build that to four blocks high And it should look something like this. It's basically just extending the deck. It's similar to the deck above and the deck above that, just extending the wall to give more support to this area here. And then at the bottom of that wall, down here, we're going to add stairs. So at the end of the, third, end of the 12, we add stairs going up like so. And that's too thick as well, two, two stairs wide. Like so. And then we just cut a hole at the top for our axis. And stairs at the top, so it's basically a staircase going up, and then around the stairs, you just add white blocks all the way around. Like so, just making sure I've got enough headroom there, and that's fine. So there we go, you've got stairs going up and a stairwell just there in the deck, and then the other side of the stairs. Um, the bloody night vision running out again. Um, we'll add the bottom of the stairs. We we'll add blocks just for support, and then underneath on the side we'll add banisters again. So up two, 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 and one there like that. And there you go. There's the stairs all covered in, and the stairwell all sorted out. So that's that little job done. And it don't look too bad. Not brilliant, I know, but it's you know it's, it's it'll do. And uh, you just do the same on the other side then. So I'll just go and over. Go over and try that out, make sure it works on this side. So it's the third wall in. So the long wall there, that's number one, and then two, three, and then uh, back twelve uh, yeah, back twelve. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then four high. Like so. And then from the from the end add stairs up. So stairs, 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 and then we cut a hole in the deck, and then stairs, stairs, there we go, and then we just add the white wall around the edge, and there we go. 
go, that's the stair well done. And then down the bottom, we add our support under the stairs. And then the banisters on the side. So up two, up two, up two, one. Like that. And I just put a block in the wrong place up there, so I remove that. And there we go, there's our staircases done. They should, in theory, look something like that. Marvellous. All right, so just bear with me now while I look at my notes to work out what to do next. So hang on a second. All right, okay, so what we're going to do now is move on to the cranes on the stern here. So these go on the boat deck, which is, like I was saying, the, the first deck up from the main deck. So there's the main deck of the stern and go up one deck, which is this one here. And go to the centre block of, this, of the back of this deck here. So here's the centre block of the deck. Um, and what we're going to do is count out to the tenth block out. So there's the centre here and then count out ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten straight, not ten following the contours. So it's ten like that. And then from that tenth block we build two forward like so. And then either side of that we go two forward, two forward like that. And then the middle two forward like that. So that's the, the, the base of your crane. Do the same the other side. Just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And do the same design again. And there's your the base for the other crane. So there's your two crane bases, and then for the crane our uh, uh, crane body themselves, you're going to build them up to uh, uh, how high are they? Oh, 21 high. Sorry. So we go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one like that. So 21 high, and then build that 21 high all the way around. And it's the same with both cranes, so remember just build it 21 high all the way around. Takes a little while, but we'll get there. Keeps falling off. This is a really pain in the ass job. La 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 la. Get to the top. Get it all done. All right, there we are. So there's the crane body up, and then for the top we just want the black cap. So we get our black concrete again, wherever it is. That one. And then we just add a black flange around the top. Like so, just basically overhangs the sides of the top with black like that. And then on the top we just add uh, one, two, three, four, and then to either side like that and there's your crane body done and then for the crane arm now it depends how you want to do this because my cranes face or well, the crane arms are facing the center so they're sort of facing each other so that's how I'm designing it so for, for that I'm going to go from the fourth block up from the bottom so go to the bottom and go four blocks up so one two three four and then build inwards four so one two three four four again one two three Two, three, four, and then three. One, two, three, like that. And then the same on the back of the uh, crane arm. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh! One, two, three, like so. And that's pretty much it. There isn't really any more detail to go with it because I mean it's that's pretty much how I just designed them. So you can put a couple of blocks in between to uh, make them look like they're actually some sort of structure, like that, or. These la this last row of three, remove them and put them on the centre. Sort of like that. So you've got the crane arm sort of getting narrow as it goes for toward the end. So that's uh, one crane and one arm done. You just do the same on the other side facing the other crane arm. And it uh, shouldn't look too bad. So it's basically just build the base up to 21 high, add a black cap at the top. And then add your arm. So uh, I should just quickly copy this to the other side. Or copy the uh, crane to the other side. Copy to the other crane base. And uh, we should use uh, copy, flip, paste. And there we go. There's the other crane done. So, like I said, there's nothing really in between. And it's just a um, very short, stubby crane arm. So, if you want to build the cranes facing the other way, sort of facing back, that would probably be the better alternative. But these are just the ones that I designed on the prototype, so they do look a bit shit, but uh, that's how it is. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, cranes done anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut now while I work out what to do next, and then we can move on. So uh, 
back in a moment okay back again so what we're going to do now is work on the stern main deck here and we're going to start with a cargo hatch we're going to go right to the front end of this deck or this area anyway to the uh, back wall of the superstructure here and this center block here and we're going to count back from there 11 blocks from the center so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then we're going to build our cargo hatch so a center block there and the cargo hatch is 15 wide so that is uh, seven each each side so one two three four five six seven that way one two three four five six seven that way and then the sides are six one two three four five six same the other side one two three four five six and then join them together across the back like so and there you go there's the, the base of your cargo hatch and then the center three on the side so this is like the um the cargo hatches on the front but sort of the other way around so the center three you just add line of three quart blocks or you know, basically three rows of quartz blocks across the center like so like that and then on the sides you just add quartz slabs and I need to get my quartz slabs and like I say each side you just add the quartz slab like this for your little cargo hatch I think it's a cargo hatch anyway it's sort of a bit of a weird place to put a cargo hatch because it's uh, Right above the uh, passenger's superstructure area, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there's the cargo hatch added there, and it should look something like that. Now, what we're going to do now is move on to the swimming pool, which is going to be fun. So go back to the center block of the cargo hatch on the back. So at the back of the cargo hatch, center block is here. And we're going to count back uh, to 23 blocks. So on the wood, count back 23. So that's 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23. So there's 23 there, and we'll put our swimming pool there. Actually, I'll put a. I'm gonna actually got to cut a hole here, so we're going to cut a hole nine wide. So that's center block plus four each side. So one, two, three, four that, four that way. Replace any damaged blocks, and then one, two, three, four that way. And then the sides are 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the same on the other side. Like that. And then just remove all of the wood blocks in this space because we're going to replace that all with quartz or white, whatever you want, whatever material you're using, just replace it with that. So I'll just get all this in like so. Right, so I'm just trying to work out how to work this one out now. Uh, working out how to work things out. Uh, so we'll build the inside of the pool. So basically just add the rim around the inside like this. The rim of the pool. I hate doing a swimming pool. They just look crap whenever I do it. Um, but yeah, just add the rim around like so. Like that. So you've got the uh, pool like that. And then underneath, you just add a, a, uh, a base of... Uh, I'll basically just add the, the, the bottom of the pool really so you just go down one block underneath like so inside the rim and then just add white blocks or whatever color you want to use to create the bottom of the pool so you can see the pool from, from the underside the pool is one block or one block lower than the deck above so that's basically what you want to do just add the pool like so And there we go. So there's the pool edges like that. And then what you do again around the rim again, you just add a wall of blocks around like so. I'm trying to work it out. Actually, is it this way? <laughs> do, 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 do. I think it's two blocks high. I think. Let me just go over the prototype a second because I need to <laughs> make sure I do this right. <sighs> uh, actually, it is right. Um, yeah. So add add a line of blocks around the top of the rim. I keep saying rim. It just sounds so seedy, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, add a line of blocks around like so. And then add a line of slabs around the top to make it one and a half blocks high. So it's going to be quite a, a deep pool at the end of this. A very basic pool, but it's a pool nonetheless. So just get this out of the way. There you go. So there's the slabs added like that. So we've got a, quite a, a deep uh, pool like that. And then what you want to do there is go to the front of the uh, 
of the of the swimming pool on the center block and count or add quart blocks uh, five forward so one two three four five like that five forward like that and we're going to add a base around so it's five forward like that and then this front wall you add you make it five wide so it's two either side like that so it's five wide five forward and then five wide and then uh, bear with me on this one this doesn't always go right so around the sides I'm going to work on the left first so build outwards three one two three and then four rows of two one two one two one two one two like that and then back four one two three four and then five one two three four five and then curving back inwards again we want five one two three four five and then uh, it's five 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 and then four rows of two again so one two one two one two one two like that and then two in one two and then the five again so one two three four five like so, so that's one side and we'll do the same the other side. So it's out three, one, two, three, and then four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, back four or three, one, two, three, and then five. That's four again. So it's four back and then five. One, two, two, three, four, five. And then five again curving in. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two into one two and there we go that all joins up together so there's your base around the pool and then inside this space you just want to fill it all in with white so all in with white like so and I just used the fill tool to do this otherwise I'd be here all day so fill quartz by 200 and that fills in the whole base so you got the, the, the pool looking like that and then around the outside of the base we just add uh, quartz slabs around like so, just one line of quartz slabs around the outside. Something like that. There we go, there's the uh, pool done. And it should look something like that. All we need to do now is fill up with water and it should uh, look the part. Um, anyway, what we're going to do now is add four pillars. So on the outside, on the sides, you got this, uh, on, the out on the very outside, you've got this row of five here. And then you've got a row of five, each end of that row of five. So five here and then five on the front. At the end of each row of five on the outside, so not that row, but the row forward and back of that, you add a pillar which is five high so one two three four five there and then on the other five at the back you add one two three four five up same on the other side so the end of the fives one two three four five and the front five one two three four five like that so there's your four pillars like that and then at the top just add four blocks around the top of the pillar like so they're sort of uh, spotlights really sort of light shining down so that's uh, that, and do the same with all the others. So, like I said, I think that's sort of lamp posts. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what they are. Add the four blocks round, like so. And there we go. There's our swimming pool all done. Marvelous. And the lag is kicking in, so I've got to bear with me on this one while I try and sort it out. Yeah, I think that's sorted. It. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now is basically just add. Handrails around the edge. Although looking at it on the prototype, there are a couple of black masts just in front of the uh, in front of the pool. So I'll go back to the front of the pool. And we'll add a couple of black masts, which are about four blocks high. So front of the front of the pool, go about four blocks forward, and then three to the side. One, two, three, and add one, two, three, four there. Same on the other side. One, two, three out. One, two, three, four up like that. And there you go. Two masts. Not sure what they're for, but they'll uh, just add to the detail of the stern. And then, and like I was saying, as before, we'll go back to the tip of the stern and add handrails now, going from the tip of the stern around to the superstructure. So, just get our handrails, like so, and put handrails on the back wall here. And then, as before, if you've seen how I'm adding the uh, handrails, like so, they are sitting on top of wood blocks. So, 
in the corners we'll get rid of the wood blocks underneath and replace them with white like so and I'll do this all the way around and then replace it and then add the handrail so I'll just replace all the corner wood blocks with white so just so that every every white section joined together in the handrails have something solid uh, have something consistent to sit on rather than sitting on of on the wood blocks so that's one side let's do the other side as well do, 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 do. missed one there we go And there we go. So I just add the handrails around the edge now. I do one side, then the other. And this will be the stern all done. And then basically we just have one more big job to do, which is the lifeboats, which is always fun. And then it's just tidying up with the adding the handrails. For the rest of the ship, that is. Oh, bowls. Do, 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 do. Right, so that's one side done, handrails there. I'll just do the other side as quick as I can. Apologies if this isn't as quick as I can go, but that is the way things are. And there we go, there's the stern handrails all done marvelous brilliant beautiful nice and neat so that's all the details done there and basically what we need to do now is just go and add the lifeboat so i'm going to do a jump cut when i work out how to add them <laughs> and then we can uh, move on so um back in a moment right okay so what we're going to do now is move on to the lifeboats I hate doing these things uh so there's going to be 10 lifeboats on each side of the ship they're going to be in groups of five because there's two decks where the lifeboat sits. So I'm going to work on the left side first, or only, uh, but they're, up, they're the same on both sides. There's 10 on each side, so there's 20 boats in total. So the first set of boats will go uh, on the top of the superstructure here, which is just behind. So you've got the bridge wings up there, and then you go down two decks, so down one to two, and this is where the first set of boats will go. Basically, just look at the prototype. So <laughs> they're the orange thing. So you've got the first set of boats up there on the top, and they go down a deck and you get the next five over there. So that's how they're laid out. And that's the same on both sides, okay? So as per usual, I'm going to work on the left side. And you've got the bridge wing up there. Go down two decks. One, two decks down. And you've got this curve of the uh, superstructure here. And we're going to go from there, from this bottom block here. I'm going to count back uh, four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And because the lifeboat here is going to be on a corner of the ship, it's... it's um, I'm going to build one block in, but the rest of the lifeboats will be built on the outside edge, okay? So, build one block in, or basically four blocks back, and we're going to build upwards three, so that's up one, two, three, and then you want uh, three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, like that, and then, um, hang on, so it's up one, two, one, two, this is really confusing. Actually, don't build it on the out, build it one block, and you do build this first one on the outside edge. Apologies there. So it's one, two, three, four, and then one out. Then build the three up. One, two, three. Sorry about this. And then three rows of two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then up three. One, two, three. Up two. One, two. And then out four. One, two, three, four. And then it's the next boat, uh, next davit along, which will be one block in because it's on a corner of the ship, but. That is how that is. So what we'll do then, we'll leave a 14 block gap. We'll count back 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then do the same again. So it's up 3. 1, 2, 3. 2, 2, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. 3, 1, 2, 3. 2, 1, 2. And out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. So that's the first pair of davits. And then after that first pair, you leave a 1 block gap. And then add the next pair so it's on the outside edge this time one two three and then the twos one two one two one two and then the three one two three and then two one two and out three one two three like that so the first pair of davits is four, out four but the next ones are th out three okay and then another 15 block another another 14 block gap so count back 15 so that's 10 12 13 14 15 do the same again one two three 
one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So there we are, there's the second set. And you do that for five pairs, so that's the first two pairs, and then do the next pair. I'll just do this quickly, so it's three, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and then 15 back again. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So that's three pairs, one block gap, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then a 15 block gap, or 15, 14 block gap rather. Two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So that's four pairs now, four pairs of davits like that. And then the last pair, one block gap, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then the last davit, 15 blocks back. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, there we go. So that's five pairs of davits there. And it should look something like that on the uh, boat deck. And then for the next deck down, we'll come back and do the boats in a minute, but for the next deck down, you just go down at the end of the deck we've just done, down one, down to the next deck, and then go back about four blocks from the end here, so one, two, three, four, and then start the same process again. So three up, two, 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 and then one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, like that. And you just do the same five davits along there. <coughs> Sorry, like the ones i just done. So that's, uh, I'll come back and sort them out in a minute, but we'll sort out the first boat first. And all these boats are going to be the same, so we need white for the bottom and then orange for the top. So I'm going to use orange concrete for that. Um, orange concrete. And what we're going to do, from the end of the davits, we're going to use handrails, or iron bars, which i just thrown away. And we're going to build, from the end of the davit, build down two. So down one, two like that, and the same from the other one. One two like that and then on the end of the and end of the, the, the wire or the end of the, the barge add an orange block and then underneath that a white block plus two white blocks down like that same on the other one one orange block and then white block plus two down like so and then build the base of the boat between the two like so so you got a base like that and then the next row up you build your base along the side like that same on the other side like that so you've got a sort of long horse trough and then for the orange part up above so go from the orange block and build out build or build one like that and then build one like that either side and then out two one two and one two same on the other end build one back one out and then two out two out like that and then join them together from front to back. Now these boats are going to be covered but I think the ones on the Rotterdam are a bit more modern so you may want to sort of uh, pattern your own design with this one because mine are just obsolete ones so it's up to you what you want to do. So there's the boat done like that and then for the cover of the boat we just add one block on the top so one block back from the iron bar like that and then add three and build three wide going across from the other side so from the iron bar on the back build one block and then one, one, two, three and then just build three wide across the top of the boat like so now I'm not explaining these very well but I mean this is just a vague design because I saw someone pointed out in the preview video that the lifeboats on the Prototab are a lot more modern than the, than the ones that I designed but uh, this is just something that, that is a how it is if you know what I mean uh, so there's the boat almost done just need to remove a few details underneath so you can remove a couple of blocks underneath like so so two blocks there and then two under there like so, and that is pretty much the first boat done. And like I was saying, it's only a vague design, and you can sort of do a better job yourself. So you know, if you want to do that, then by all means, because mine, like I say, are pretty dull. Um, but yeah, that is the first boat. And you just do the same thing with the other four on the top deck here, and the same with the other five down below. So you want five on the top, like I was saying, and then five down below on the next deck at the back there. Because I've only got the first davit in, but you want the five sets down there. And five sets up there so um, like I said it's a very vague design and if you can copy that then good but if you want to do your own design 
that's a lot better because like I was saying mine are pretty shit but there's the prototype and how they're all laid out so you want your first five up there second five down there and then it's the same on the other side so you want 20 boats in total and everything should look fine so I'm going to do a jump cut when I get those boats in because I don't really want to spend too long building a design which <clears throat> isn't really going to be used so um, yeah I'm going to do a jump cut and sort that out so uh, back in a moment okay back again so I've added all the lifeboats and it should look something like this although hopefully without the shadows <laughs> um, but yeah it's uh, the, uh, the lifeboat design I've got to say is very vague but uh, I've got the davits in place and the boats in and uh, it don't look too bad I mean they're not going to be used for anything um, but yeah it don't look too bad just adds a bit more colour to the design and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it all done so that's lifeboats 10 on that side and then I've done the other 10 on the other side so that is that job done and uh, yeah, not really much more I can do for the uh, lifeboats but hey ho there we go um, so what we can do now is just move on to the last job of the day which is to add handrails and a wall around the front so we're going to go to the front of the uh, superstructure first and we're going to go to the deck uh, well, the front, well, front of the superstructure and go down to the deck below the wheelhouse so got the wheelhouse up there and go down to the first deck which has got the ledge underneath like so and we're going to add a wall of white blocks around like so around to the side underneath the bridge wings and then round back to where it attaches uh, or curves back in towards the superstructure so just get this wall in place first all the way around like so and then back in to the corner like that and there you go that's as far as I want to go and do the same the other side get this little job out of the way like so and then round the back like so and there we are that's that little job done and then the rest of the time we just want to spend adding handrails so we're going to add handrails now from the back end or from the back end of the superstructure here along the boat deck so under the lifeboats just add handrails and it's from here I usually have a rant or a moan but there's nothing really too much to moan about but as per usual if you're building this as part of a downloadable project a video on YouTube a post on social media or a conversion to other games then don't forget to uh, leave credit for the design because that's really all I want um, you know, I do spend many hours putting these things together and a bit of credit for the design is all that I require so uh, yeah there we go uh, because consider becoming a patron as well if you want to you know help keep this channel alive um, because becoming a patron it's only going to be about two quid a month if that and then uh, just help support the channel a little bit and uh, yeah, it just helps keep things going but YouTube they sort of cut their interest rates if you like like the banks have still get the views but get fuck all in return for financial wise but uh, there we go um, so yeah if you want to become a patron then you can there's no requirement just uh, a little help out here and there but anyway getting these handrails along the side there um, for builds coming up next after this one we've got the Bloemfontein Castle which is a video, a, video uh, a preview I've done already I've done a preview video of the Bloemfontein already which I've just said and that was done a couple of weeks ago so that would be the next build after this one I've uh, got a couple of preview videos coming up soon as well I've got the MS Battery which uh, I think that's how you pronounce it is a Polish uh, passenger ship been requested many times by one person or <laughs> more or less bullied into doing it but there you go so that's uh, a build coming up soon as well. Um, just putting handrails here around the around the stairwells. Uh, so that's the uh, a job for the one of the next ones. Also, SS America is currently being built somewhere in the distance over there behind Lusitania, um, and uh, that's something coming up as well. So I'll just quickly get the uh, handrails done on this deck first. So up to there. I'll we'll replace zero with one hundred one. And uh, everything should be okay. Uh, yeah, get these handrails out of the way. Um, what, was I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so there's got the Bloemfontein Castle will be the next build, and then the MS Battery and SS America will be the next two preview videos. I've got a sort of outline of SS Norway slash SS France in the works, but I don't know if I finished that one. I can confirm now that Queen Mary Two has been called off because. I just could not be bothered with it, and it's being built by another chap. I will, well, I don't, I don't need to release his name because he's going to do a tutorial soon, hopefully. 
so I think that's uh, his name's Elliot. I can't remember. Is is in the Facebook group. So if you look on Facebook and look for Rich LaRue Shipbuilding, then you can find a group and join that if you want to and keep up to date with what other people are doing. Um, and then uh, you should be okay there. Um, and yeah, that's uh, the announcement of uh, the Queen Mary Two build will be. Uh, and there's not really much else I can explain on that. There are other builds going on there as well, so um, other tutorials will follow. And it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm just going to get these uh, handrails done on this deck as well. And I realised that I may have made a slight... Is it slight? No, no, no. Actually, it's not a mistake. It's just the way that the ship contours outwards. So I thought I thought the, uh, the lifeboat davits are a bit out of line, but that's just because the first one is on a narrower part of the ship. So disaster averted there. But i just get these handrails out the way done on this deck as well. This will be the finishing part. We don't need to do any more after this. Um, but like I was saying, the next three builds... We'll follow along as and when. I'm trying to scale back on doing From the Depths videos because From the Depths is just so laggy and so bad. Um, but yeah, it's uh, something that I'm not, I don't really want to do anymore. But there we go. And we'll do the handrails on this side. I'll do the world edit ones. Get this out of the way. So yeah, um, there are more. There are requests as well. I've written down a lot of requests. I can't do them all. Because uh, some ships are sort of very vague in when it comes to uh, research. I mean, I've been asked to do the SS France from 1912, which is a four-funneled ship, a very attractive-looking ship. But there's very little in terms of documentation in deck plans of it. I'm sure there are deck plans out there. I just need to look in the right places. But at the moment, I, I can't find them, so I'm sort of stuck on doing the SS France from 1912. So apologies on that one. Um, there is a Japanese cruise ship I've been asked to do, or a Japanese ocean liner, but I can't remember the name. But I've got the deck plans uh, sort of laid out for that, so that'll be a, a follow-on as well if I can do that one. Um, a few ferries I've been asked to do. Um, I mean, I've, I've got the list of everything that's been asked, but it all just comes down to if I can find all the deck plans and documentation revolving those ships. So apologies if you can't, if if I can't do them all. But uh, I am trying. Also, time as well. So I'm sort of doing things that I want to do, and also ones that have been requested. But you know, it's all down to time, patience, and all things like that. But anyway, there's the handrails done around the funnels there, and just do the handrails from the uh, bridge wings back up here. And I did post an image of the MS battery a few week, a few days ago, but I decided to delete that because the image. Got a little. I've well, got a bit of interest, but it's mainly just people posting. Can you build this, or can you build that, or can you build something else? No, I don't want to build those things. I was just showing a picture of the MS battery, and it just got swamped with requests. So I thought, oh fuck it, I'll delete it. So that's the reason for that one. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much that one done. So the last bit of handrails to do now is around the back end, underneath the other uh, lifeboats. So I just quickly get those out of the way. So handrails underneath these lifeboats. And then around the back to the other side. Along there. And then around the back here. And then we can call it a day. Just get this little job done. Then we can call SS Rotterdam done. And there is one thing I could have done, which was add the yellow line. But I decided not to do that because... Is that the personal preference, really? Because I know some people are not going to be building this in its current colours. I mean, this is sort of Rotterdam in a sort of hotel colour scheme. I know she had changed colours a few times over her career, so I decided not to bother doing the yellow line. Just for that reason, really. But uh, let's get this last set of handrails in, and I think then we can call it a day. There we go. So that's all the handrails in place. And I think... I mean, call it a day. You can probably put a set of handrails around the funnels there if you want to, but I just think I'll leave them out. Um, there may be some handrails at the top there as well on the on those middle deck houses, but I don't think they're really necessary because I don't think those are passenger areas. But uh, hey, here, there we go. It's up to you what you want to do. But I think we can call it a day now with the SS Rotterdam. I think she looks pretty good and what we have. And uh, I think what we've achieved is. Uh, doing all right so that is the ss rotterdam done thanks for watching subscribing viewing and 
and uh, all things like that. And as I said before, if you want to become a patron, then by all means do so. There's a link in the video at the beginning and a link at the end. And uh, every little helps when it comes to that. And um, yeah, I think we can call it a day with that one. So that's the SS Rotterdam done. Like I was saying, there will be more builds afterwards. The, SS the MS Battery, SS America, um, and the other ones, the Blum Frontier Castle. Maybe the Princess Irene uh, towards the end of the year, I don't know, because that is basically the Fremantle with a different superstructure layout, so that's something that can be considered later on, but no real uh, no real desire to do it. And uh, we can call it a day there. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I'll share a term with another tutorial video soon. So, uh, ta-ta for now.